Bro, sometimes when you had a rough day, you just gotta let the beat ride before you give them one of them gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. You guys have shown me so much love over the last day or so, man. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I can't say it enough. One thing, real quick, my guy Carlos Powell and I, y'all, y'all might know him. He was, he was a uh, star at the University. South Carolina uh, back when I was playing we got together we made these shirts you know we're talking about the dog work dog work don't lie he's uh he's getting ready to do him do pre-orders on his site you can also um message him or you can message me if you want to try to get one of these right here man um they're pretty dope man say dog work don't lie and on the back it says uh, I don't know if you can see it be better than yesterday that's all we asked for around here man but anyway that's what we asking for with that. That's what we asking for with 2K. All that good stuff, man. But let's just get right into it. Like I said, if you if you want the shirts, uh, hit your boy up and uh, do everything you can, man. Look, I know a lot of people have had some issues with shooting, but we're going to get to that in a second. As far as I can tell with the Demigod glitch, it's real. It's real. I've got a method. <laughs> they, like, they put the information out there. I've seen it. I've not tried it. I'm not going to try it because I value my account. I can't get banned, man. Like, that's something that's... All I can tell you is this. It needs to be taken out of the game immediately. That needs to be addressed immediately. We can't have stuff like that in the game if we want this game to have longevity. That's just all to it. Hey, y'all like the professional voice? If you like the professional voice, just let me know. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about just, just trying to make sure that my... You know, make everything be a little bit more professional. But anyway... We cannot have things like that in the game if we would like for this game to have longevity. It just cannot happen. If we, if if you have seven foot three demigods that can shoot from half court and move around and do all of that stuff, if we have those in the game at this point in time, there's no way that the game is going to last because what's going to happen is it's going to force the next man to have to do it to just compete. And then the next guy is going to feel like he's got to do it in order to compete. And then the next guy will feel like he has to do it in order to compete. And, and before long you're gonna have a situation where people are like well i'm not gonna lose to it i'm just going to do it it's just like noob tubing in call of duty you get in the lobby everything will be going well uh somebody will start getting beat to sleep and when they start getting beat to sleep that's when they pull out the noob tubes and then when you pull yours out then somebody pulls out the uh somebody pulled out rockets with with danger close and then somebody pulls out one man army noob tubes and then they just boom that's what you're going to end up with if they don't do something about this immediately. Like I said, it, it, it does, I, I saw the instructions, it does not appear to be a simple process, but at the same time, it's not difficult at all. People will be doing this if they don't get a, a hammer lock on this immediately. Let's take care of this as expeditiously as we took care of the badge glitch, the XP glitch, and uh and, and and everything else have they even taken care of the uh the, the three on three you know the three on three uh play, playing against each other glitch have we even taken care of that i don't even know if we've taken care of that yet let's take care of this glitch as expeditiously as we took care of the glitches that actually cost the game money but this is uh, but if, if what we say is anything this is one of the glitches where they stand to make money because people are going to make new characters and do things like that so who knows how expeditiously they'll take care of it. But it needs to be done immediately. Up next, NBA 2K Labs. All jumpers are all, all, all jumpers are updated for patch 1.05. Good timing. New jumps, new shots added. Um, they tested some bases, and uh, pretty much what they're saying is these are new money bases that you can probably use. Uh, Stockton, Amateur 8, and uh, Base 57. And then they finished testing Carl Anthony Towns, base four, base five, base 78, uh, base 32, and base 107. Now, if you want to know if these are good bases and how good these bases actually are and how they stack up to the other, to everything else, go on over to 2K Lab, check them out, see what they have for you, and make sure, I mean, you know, you, you have to do the premium service. I already am a premium member. I, I'm not sponsored by them. I would like to be 2K Lab. Can I get a sponsorship? Uh, but I, I will be concocting some jump shots based upon, uh, based on you know what they say is, is are really good jump shots, really good bases, and all that good stuff. All right, on to the next order of business, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, and, uh, you know, we already talked about the demigod glitch. We've talked about the jump shots. Last but not least, we want to talk about a tweet that Zach Timmerman put out. Uh, more or less, you, you don't need to see everything that's there, actually. Uh, but let me do it like this. We'll do it like this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop it up. He's got a tweet out. I will put a link to the tweet down in the description. But it has a graphic up here. And what it's showing us is it's showing us how quickly you can get your hot spots back. It shows how the game judges, you know, how, how the game decides if something is a hot spot or if it's not a hot spot and how you can get it back or what have you. Now, this more or less will tell you, hold on one second. This more or less tells you, uh, this is my sister calling, but this more or less tells you how you can get them back. So we're just gonna go over this really quickly. Game mode, NBA. So if you want something to be a hot spot under the basket, you have to take at least 30 field goal attempts and uh, you have to shoot 65% or higher. Lower than 50 cent will, will result in a cold spot. Close range, 10 field goals, uh, you know, 55% or higher, or you get a cold spot uh, under 40%. Uh, medium range, 15 field goals, uh, and then three point range is uh, 10 field goals, and you have to shoot 50% and 40% respectively. I don't think anybody really is worried about that. Those did affect your other ones, but you know, it is what it is. Now we've got park, and uh, you know, we got park uh, 50, I mean, you gotta have 30, 30 under the basket, you gotta shoot 55%. Close shots, 10 field goals, uh, you have to shoot 65%. Uh, that's like layups and stuff. Medium range, 15 field goals, you have to shoot 60%. Or, you know, 40% is gonna give you a cold spot. Uh, 30, uh, or uh, in between here is gonna be a neutral spot, so you don't have to really worry about it that much. Uh, three pointer, you only have to take 10 three point shots and shoot 55% or higher, and it'll be that. Listen to me. And now Pro-Am, under the basket, it's about the same thing, 30, 10, 15. But the only thing that really appears to be changing is the percentages for it to become a hot spot or a cold spot. Uh, you have to shoot 50% or higher because it's a little bit more difficult in Pro-Am. And um, I don't understand why you, have, why, you, why you can shoot a lower percentage in NBA for it to become a hot spot. But in the park and in Pro-Am, you have to shoot a higher percentage. I, I, I don't understand that. And the reason I don't is because the difficulty on park and Pro-Am should be higher because you're playing against real people. But hey, it is what it is. Get out there, get your 10 FGAs up in each spot, uh, more or less. And then, you know, see what, see what happens. I will tell you this. A lot of people don't know don't know this, haven't thought about it, don't, don't recognize it. Don't. Listen to me. If you want to get your hot spots back very quickly in an expeditious fashion, this is what you need to do. Put on Corner Specialist and put on Hot Zone Hunter, okay? Put on Corner Specialist. It's going to give you your hot spot from the corner up to the hash. So because you don't have hot spots, you're going to need a little help. Shoot there, you know, take your 10 shots, hit over 50%, and you'll be back to normal with your corner specialist. Then you can take it off. You can do whatever you want to do. But I'm just saying for right now, just for your field goal's sake, please put on corner specialist. And if you pair it with hot zone hunter, I promise you, you won't take it off. If you've got, let's say if you got hot zone hunter on Hall of Fame, corner special, I mean, hot zone hunter Hall of Fame, um, range extender Hall of Fame, and uh, catch and shoot on Hall of Fame. Take one badge point from each one of those and put three badge points in corner specialist, and then you'll have a gold corner specialist. I promise you, it will be the night and day in between you getting your hot spots and not. And with the information that Mike Wong gave us on yesterday, corner specialist will work to help you get, you can pro, you can you can finesse corner specialist um, to get almost three fourths of your hot zones uh, pretty much, man. Let me let me let me show you something here real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, NBA 2K 20 hot zones. If I can get the graphic that shows the hot zones, then I can show you exactly um, exactly what I'm trying to show you. Uh, let's see. NBA 2K hot zones. Can we just do hot zones? I just need the hot zone graphic, right? Boom. Here we go right here. This is this is good enough for me right here and I can show you exactly what I want to show you guys with this. Let me pull this hot zone up. Boom. 
I want the big graphic. Back to camera nine. Let me show you something here real quick. Okay, look. You can finesse corner specialists to get a lot of your hot zones. So corner specialists will work right here. It'll work right here. Okay, boom. It's gonna work up to the hash. Put on corner specialists, boom, boom. Get this to this. You can shoot probably right here in this area and get it also because sometimes corner specialists will pop up, especially if you got on range extender. But I'm giving you too much of the sauce right now. You shouldn't have any problems making it in the paint. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six hot zones that you can potentially get just with corner specialists. This is gonna take you up to the hash. And then you only need what? One, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's half of your hot zones that you can get if you finesse corner specialists the right way. Or if you just make layups from here or whatever you want to do. It is what it is. Like I said, man, use the game. Use what they gave us. We know that they took away uh, corner specialists. I mean, we know that they took away a lot of the stuff. It's okay. It's going to be all right. Use the information that I am giving you, and I promise you, you will be a better shooter. Put on the right badge combinations. All that good stuff. It is not going to matter. You have your hot, small, hot zones back before you know it. And look, it's a rolling last 10 shots. So if you shot badly, don't worry about it. Come back, sh keep shooting. You're going to hit 6 out of 10. It'll be a hot spot, and you're going to be good to go. Anyway, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you think these shirts are L or W. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed. Listen, like the video, share the video. You never know who is going to help. Your boy Sim. One love. Respect. Bless up. Hit your boy a subscribe. <laughs> I'm out, man. Peace.